Hello everyone, welcome back to the Golden Butterfly channel. So today I want to delve into Don't Worry Darling. It is a movie directed by Olivia Wilde and the press tour generated so much media controversy regarding the movie. Just to give you guys a quick recap, there was a huge hoopla on social media about whether Harry Styles spit on Chris Pine when they were right here. And, you know, some people were saying that he did, he didn't. Harry Styles addressed it and said that he didn't spit on Chris, but <laughs> I mean, the world will never know, right? I think he probably did it as an accident. He was embarrassed, but Chris played it off really cool. And they, you know, they watched the film and, uh, and Chris, <laughs> <laughs> this picture here when Harry Styles is describing how he loves movies and he's really redundant. He repeats the word movie several times and Chris is just, he's poor Chris. Marcy <laughs> got spit on. <laughs> and it's really funny because he has been acting for so long. He has a background a degree in English from Berkeley and he's a seasoned vet whereas Harry Styles is you know coming to acting after being successful in, in the music scene and so Chris is just kind of fed up with the tour and then the issue going on with Olivia Wilde and, Fl and Florence Pugh Olivia basically saying that you know she fired Shaya LaBeouf, even though um, Shia came with the receipts, really. And there's a video of Olivia saying, you know, Shia, Shia, and she wants him to come back. And he just basically, you know, showed her out to be a liar because Florence, and she called her Miss Flo, which a lot of people, his, her stylist had on robes, and, you know, they thought it was really they um, kind of took agency of it because Olivia has been caught in several lies and then doubled down by belittling Florence. So Miss Flo went to Venice for the press tour, but she did on her own terms. And eventually I saw the movie and the movie is, it reminded me a lot of the Stepford Wives. And I'll give you guys just a really quick plot summary of what was going on in the movie. So it was in 1950s America, Alice, who's Florence, and Jack, who's played by Harry Styles, Chambers is their last name. They live in an idyllic neighborhood of the company town called Victory, California. So every day their men would go to work at Victory headquarters in the desert and their wives, which was played by Margaret, who was played by Kiki and Bunny, who was played by Olivia Wilde, they would stay home and clean and relax, and prepare dinner for their husbands. The women were discouraged from asking questions about their husband's work and were told not to venture out into the headquarters. So Margaret had become an outcast after taking her son out into the desert, resulting in her son's apparent death. And although she claims that victory took him away from her as punishment, she ends up I don't want to give spoilers, but there ends up being a huge issue with her. And um, she was a really important character, I feel, in the movie. Although later she came out and said that Olivia cut most of her scenes. She put a statement out on social media. So, again, the behind the scenes, I would, <laughs> I'm looking forward to, hopefully they release like some behind the scenes, scenes footage. Because it seems as though behind the scenes drama with Olivia and Harry in a relationship. It just seems like that was so much more interesting than the Stepford wife suburbia trope that's being perpetuated here. And um, Alice, anyway, so Alice witness, witnesses a plane crash in the desert while riding a, a trolley and she rushes to help and she stumbles upon the Victory Headquarters, which is a small building that's covered in mirror-like windows. 
So after touching one, she experiences surreal hallucinations before waking back home later that night. In the following days, she experiences increasingly strange occurrences. She receives a phone call from Margaret, Kiki's character, who claims to have seen the same thing that Alice did. Margaret goes, and as Alice goes to talk to her, she slits her own throat and falls from the roof of her house. And before Alice can even get to her, Margaret's body is dragged away by men in jumpsuits. So Alice runs and tells her husband, Jack, who's played by Harry Styles, and he dismisses her and calls the town physician, Dr. Collins, who attempts to give her who attempts to give Alice pre- prescription drugs. So Alice becomes increasingly paranoid and confused, especially during a victory event where Frank and Jack give a special speech. And Jack promotes Frank. And Alice has a breakdown in the bathroom, is confronted by Bunny, who is Olivia Wilde's character. And while Alice is attempting to try to explain everything to her, Bunny gets mad and accuses Alice of being selfish. So basically, Alice is just being gaslit throughout the entire movie. And again, it's on board with what was going on behind the scenes because Olivia Wilde is gaslighting her on screen. (laughs) Olivia Wilde (laughs) with her character Bunny. And Olivia Wilde is gaslighting her off screen, saying that, you know, she fired Shia LaBeouf when in fact she tried to get him back for the main character, her husband, um, Florence Pugh's husband in the movie. And it's just, it's just wild, you know, that old adage that life imitates art and art imitates life. Again, I don't want to give away spoilers to the movie. Um, if you guys have a chance to you know, go out and see it. I would, I mean, it's not like for me personally, I didn't think this was like a wonderful film, a great movie. I wouldn't encourage you to do so unless you, you know, are bored with something to do. But again, it reminds me just a lot of the Stepford Wives. And there's an article out that came out recently um, on Twitter where a guy was talking about how a lot of Americans are really isolated and lonely because not only the pandemic that we're recovering from, but because of um, suburbia and the third location that a lot of people would go to for community, like, you know, coffee shops and churches and things like that. A lot of people are just isolating themselves more so. And I feel like this is kind of a really brilliant illustration of what the guy is saying in terms of the suburban landscape that's away from the city and out in the desert. So anyway, um, it was okay film. I I checked it out. I watched it mostly just because of the real time, real life drama between Olivia, Florence, Harry Styles, Chris Pine, like Kiki. (laughs) That's the movie I want to see. Like, (laughs) hopefully, hopefully sometime soon. And I'm so serious. Like, hopefully sometime soon, one of the actors or someone does a behind the scenes documentary because I love those. I'll make more reaction videos to those. Um, But I'm really obsessed with like, um, behind the scenes looks and documentaries and so that's what I'm looking forward to hopefully in the near future but anyway just want to get on here and make a quick video about don't worry darling and if I would rate it I would probably give it like a six out of ten although Flo her you know Florence she did a really great job and um Kiki her character was amazing. She did a really great job too. So there was some really good acting in here. But again, I'm waiting for the uh, Snyder Cut behind the scenes look. Hopefully that will come about in the near future. So you guys take care. Until the next time, talk to you later. Bye.